Hey, yo, what up, YouTubers? Check out this interview with Spanky Loco, Sancho Loco Show, bringing you nothing but the best interviews. Please hit that subscribe button, and it'll help keep my programming going. LPFM, Sancho Loco Show, Monday through Friday, 5 to 7 p.m. here in Orange County. Represent, I got two very special guests, man. One of them just walked in the building, Spanky Loco. What's up, Spanky? Man, I gotta put your mic up, bro. That's that's. There you go, man. There you go. Now, now, now we can hear you, bro. Now we can hear you. He keeps it on the low. Keeps yeah, it on the low, yeah. bro. So we you got have to turn up the mic a little. There you go. Little extra loud. There you go, man. The mic is up. We got little puppy. What's up, little puppy? Hey, man. I'm you know I'm good. I'm good. I mean, this part don't have the hood after him. Hey, man. So he he finally made it. it was, I try to make sure I didn't bring him back over here. <laughs> yeah, bro. That's why I said I was at another location. <laughs> there you go. Hey, man. See, he, <laughs> see, he was. Yeah. He was looking out for us, bro. Come yeah. on now. Hey man, we got we got some super Chicano power here, bro. That's yeah, just, so hey, all we need now is Eric Estrada. We, <laughs> we're talking about uh we're talking about uh George Lopez and Eric Estrada before you came in. And hey, you got that deep going, man. You got oh, that. It's deep. It's deep, man. But we're gonna we're gonna do a reunion for them, bro. We're, Beautiful. We're gonna yeah, man. We gotta you know. We gotta get the homies together, you know. Yeah. It's Barrios it's unite. It's That's right, it's man. It's I'm glad to have you here, Spanky Man. Um, Brilliant. I got. Oh no, it's okay, brother. I, 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 we're we're ble yeah, LA man, coming from LA to OC man. You got to hit that 405, right? It's like um, you got to jump over the wall, man. It's like a that? whole new world. <laughs> jump over the wall. We we uh, uh we uh here at Radio Suerte, man, are very honored to have you both. But I got some questions for Spanky, man. Um, you know, I'm a big fan, bro. I seen all the stuff you're doing, man. And uh, we talked outside how you do tattoos, bro. Like it, and, and you, you're so diverse. You're multi talented, man. And um, and so, where, where's your tattoo studio at? My studio's in East LA. East LA. Uh, that's where uh, that's where little pup is from. I, was, I grew up in yeah. Boyle Heights. Where where about in East LA are you? It's uh, borderline Montebello, East LA. Oh, okay. So, so close to Gerhard, Montebello. Gerhard Beverly. Utterly. Gerhard Beverly. Okay. Here. Oh, that's cool. Uh, yeah, Sadler is between Sadler and Gerhard. Off of Beverly. What's that comic? Uh, he's he, uh, <clears throat> Rudy. Rudy Moreno. Yeah. Rudy Rudy Moreno. Yeah. Yeah. You're near Rudy, right? Yeah, there's a little comic shop right yeah, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's my neighbor, good cat. He's good. I like nice him. Guy, yeah. yeah, yeah. Rudy Moreno, man. Yeah, yeah. That, that's a, cool. that's a classic comedian right there. Oh, yeah. Man. Oh, yeah. Didn't uh, Felipe Esparza grow up in L.A. too? He grew up in the, in the project. Okay. Uh, Pico Aliso. Okay. That guy's funny. You see his uh, HBO, yeah, HBO special. Yeah, he's got a, he's got a few he's got a few special now. Oh, I don't know. I, I saw the, the most recent one. Yeah, dude, I I see him the other day, bro, and he was uh he was even doing like uh bank commercials. <laughs> no. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, dude, he was doing he like corporate. He went corporate, oh, dude. Man. Felipe Felipe Esparza is doing like Target oh, now, man. bro. But uh, dude, dude, whatever, pays, whatever pays the bills, dude. I'm about to do Starbucks. I'm like, heck oh, yeah, dude! Look at it. Dude, it's a new policy, the new Starbucks policy. Well, you know, they're okay. a little softer on the ink. Yeah, you there you go. That's cool. That's cool. So they might, you know, get might a, cut the check. We'll see. Hey, dude, you never know, bro. Yeah. You could get a spicy latte from Spanky, man. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? Well, actually, the Spanky the, latte. No, it's a latte local. The latte, <laughs> latte local. Oh, there you go, dude, latte that, local. That's it, man. So, so you, you catching the buzz right now, bro? I, I keep up, man. I, 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 I seen that song. I, we're, we're, we're radio friendly here, but, uh, so, so there's no cussing, but, but I, I seen that song that you did about Takashi, bro. And that's catching a big old thing, man. You get a lot of, a lot of viewers from that, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did our thing with that. I mean, he just happened to be at the wrong place at the wrong time, man. That's, that record's already done. Yeah, it's done. So what, what? we're filming the video. And had the visuals like, you know, we slapped the wig on one of the little homies, and it just, it just, it just all worked out. It all worked out. So. Yeah. What, 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 uh, what's, what's up for this year, man? What are you doing this year? This year we've got a couple things going on. Uh, in particular, this month at the end of the month, I just got back from New Jersey, so shout out my Jersey brothers and all my East Coast family out there. Right on, man. I did a little uh, quick, quick uh, pop up, did some tattoos and. Uh, Hosted a little event real quick, and then uh, came home. I had a couple appointments here, have a couple appointments, and then we go to to Walla Walla, Washington. Oh wow! For an event with Drummer Boy, I host that event, all ages event at uh, Club Tequilas or at the Eagles, I believe. And then it's Kenwick, Washington, the next day. So you started traveling a lot last couple of years. Yeah, for the well, for like the last five years I've traveled. Yeah, man, it's been busy, dude. Yeah. That's good though, man. It's good to see a, a young a Chicano come up in the game, man, and do your thing. So you find yourself uh, balancing two <clears throat> two worlds: the tattoo world and the music world. 
little bit of everything I like to paint also graffiti and, oh cool and canvases and drawings and, and, and you're stuff. from East Los originally I'm from West LA I'm from West LA West LA I'm from West Los yeah where is whereabouts uh like the Venice La Cienega area oh okay yeah I used to live out that between, way yeah between like downtown right near the and motel. the beach you know? <laughs> Yeah, so between like downtown and the beaches is where we're at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like but the beach, I'm new, though. Yeah, I'm new to the area and I love it. East LA's been like really welcoming to me. Yeah. Yeah, very welcoming. I've never yeah. had like a storefront. It's my first storefront. My oh, where first, is it at? Uh, right there on Beverly. Oh, on Beverly? Beverly? Oh, that's right, on Beverly. Cool. Um, so we're getting a great response. A lot of the locals get to, you know, pull up on us now and, you know, come collect a CD or a tattoo or a t shirt or whatever. So it's, yeah. so it's like you, you got your music there, you get you do the tattoos there. Um, <clears throat> paint now, there. Now, oh, you paint there too. Got clothing there, accessories, smoke Damn. accessories, backpacks, custom things, uh, canvases. Yeah, Just so you got guys... personal things that I work on that, you know, the collector could come and pick up or that's know, that's dope that's man. great yeah. that's really dope i i like the fact that it's it's not just one you know one thing you know i like the fact that you're diverse you got the paintings you got the graph you got the tattoos and you we got the mexican you know yeah mexicans, you know? mexicans yeah dude. So, we, 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 we still got the uh, electrician yeah, dude, oh, man. <laughs> catch me on a sunday and i'll be around <laughs> Oh, on man. a Saturday night, I'll probably be go paint your house Seriously, or whatever. Dude, that's Spec what... Loco does it all, you know? That's what I'm saying, though, bro. Like, we, we're yeah, so, man. like, talented. <laughs> And then right now I'm working on uh, uh, smoke products, so I have uh, pre-rolls and medicated products. Okay. I'm working on so. like like a uh, uh, medicated cannabis and stuff like exactly. that. Exactly. That's cool, yeah, man. Yeah. So, you got your own strains coming out and stuff. Yeah, I got a couple of things that I have in order. So that's some dope. Pre some really strong stuff called local rolls. They got they got uh, indica and then infused with with. Uh, with indica extracts and then keef and it's all pre-rolled in a in one joint so wow. it's a slow burning it lasts a long time if you medicate and then it's really potent so if you really need to is there a time is there, is, is there a shelf life on that like because it's pre-rolled like do you have to usually it doesn't last a long time you know? no huh no it's you know the consumer doesn't wait that long yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like making so, them, they're like yeah. waiting. They're like waiting. Like, yeah. oh, no. yeah, see. <laughs> He's got them like pre ordered, bro. Because they never last that long. You know? just, that's pretty. You know, that's true, dude. I never thought that was a stupid see, question. See. That's but all right. They, yeah. all right I got, I'm in a food coma still, bro. But they're packaged, uh-huh. you know, to last. You know, they're in glass containers and, you know, they, they're, they're, they're packaged nice. So. They they um they say that's the next big like wave man like they're gonna be like uh, cafes and like restaurants and like let's go. we hope we still have the uh, federal thing man right? yeah it's still not not they go uh, both people say they go many ways you know very regulated or very loose you get so many opinions so. yeah. Right now that you know, I'm like an avid I always, you know, smoke forever. I just like it just makes sense for me to have certain products that I like yeah. vouch for and say, damn, this will get you real local. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. gotta put that tag on the end. This si, will get si. you real local. Si, si. So, yeah, man. That's that's, that, yeah. as far as um as far as like uh acting, you ever think about getting into acting? Yeah, as a matter of fact, uh a year and a half ago I ran I was having I was having breakfast with my kids in Santa Monica. And Howie Mandel walked by with his with his wife. Oh, Howie and Mandel. And his kids, yeah. And then and as he walked by, uh, I you know I, I waved to him, told you know told him hi and everything. And he stopped there and he was looking at me, and he's just staring at me and like staring at my kids and stuff, you know. <clears throat> and then uh, and and then I was as he's just like tripping out on me, you know. I see the rest of his family, we kind of greet and they just take off. But like 30 seconds later, this this lady runs back in, you know, his wife, and gives me a business card and says, hey, you, you know, you're done any acting. And I, and then I, well, you know, here and there, Coke Cam is nothing, you know. I yeah. don't have no time for it, really, you know. Right. And I go, but if it's for real, I, you know, I would consider, you know. Yeah, me and, it, you know? me and Danny were talking uh, before you came about uh, Homeboy Industries, how they, how they have, like, you know, helped a lot of young brothers out and helped them get their career started. And uh, we were talking about what's his name, Adrian Cabral, Richard, Richard Cabral. Richard, see, yeah. see, see, that's a good homie. Yeah, yeah. we were on set not a couple months back. Oh, uh, were you? And, yeah, yeah. So, so I've been having action. I've been having action. I, you know, after she gave me that business card, I, it took me a couple of weeks, and then I find a card again. Like, oh, 
let me call her up, you know. So I, so I called her up, and uh, and she was good people. She set me up quick with my, you know, my uh, with my accounts and all that online. To, to, you know, give me give me my my, my LA casting, going a few other online resources that she sets up of you know to to actually represent oh, she's in the you. Business doing that. Yes, to okay. represent you. So so now I got an agent. That's Go great. figure. So I've done. Uh, I've done a couple of things. I did a, a foreign film that they shot out here in, in Boyle Heights. Oh, uh, wow. I did a couple videos, did a couple music videos. They went for a uh, feature. I did a cameo for for Future and a couple other guys, Wiz Khalifa. Oh, cool. A couple other ones. So, Are you studying or you don't have time? No, for man, I no. wish I could, man. I yeah. really wish I could. I would like totally take advantage of it, but just my time is so limited. Yeah. That I got to really find time because that's another art form that I'd love to tap yeah. in. Like I've gotten a lot of gigs in the last six months, you know, motion picture videos and a couple other things, uh, commercials, stuff for Oxygen, stuff for Fox. I mean, just real random stuff, you know? Yeah. But, um, I mean, I don't really like, I've gotten like gigs and like that, like there's homies that'll put like on their, on their social media profile or whatever, they'll be like actor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First yeah. highlight, you know, <laughs> or, their, or their background, <laughs> and you know, homie so and so. Like me, I'm sitting next to you. I'm a rapper. See, yeah. see, see. <laughs> you got the single though, cracking, right? You no, got I'm the single though. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. So it'd be like that, and I kind of like, I kind of poke fun at that because I don't like. I feel like I don't know, man. It takes it takes a lot it more. It takes than a lot that. more than just being an extra a couple times to be hashtag actor you feel that's the only right. the art form that you got to get tip your high respects to really like involve yourself in and really put put just like every other high mm -hmm. or trade or art form you got to give yourself you know to the game you feel me you got to involve yourself in that i feel like because i involve myself completely in the art into music yeah and i give and give it my about own, your business you yeah. feel me so there's no way you cannot do that in that art form no, no, totally. You know I mean? Like, like even uh, going back to Felipe Esparza, he went on. He was he just did an interview, and he was saying that he since he transitioned from the comedian to actor, because you know once you start once you start getting the buzz, people agents start knocking at your door. They want to hire you for this. They want to hire yeah. you for that. So they started getting they started booking him for these acting gigs. But the problem that he was saying was he had problem enunciating things. He had problems remembering the script. And I'm sure you, you that's oh, it's a lot of work. Yeah, it's a lot of work. I've been doing it for forty years. Yeah, man. You know, and I'm still learning. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's probably uh, like when you're on American Me. Did you have to like uh, memorize all the dialogue? Oh man, that was hard. No, um, I don't know if every actor can do it, but uh, when I really focus and concentrate on that, I can remember from the moment I met you today until now. Yeah. It's like a sort of like a you have this kind of memory, you know. And so when I do, yeah. yeah, yeah dude, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. You know what, dude? You get yeah. the wrong yeah. yeah. But no, but I just want a big old plan on there. It's a thing that you work on, and so you can focus, yeah. you know. And so it does take a little bit of work. But, but it comes hand in hand, because, you know, I'm <laughs> recording. La net, I go over a song, because I got to record it, and I go over it, over the verse, over, over, over. So at the end of the night, I know the song that will Yeah. yeah. You know, once you drop it. I That's true. You know it. That's yeah. true. But so you remember like going over scenes, going over, you know. Re remember the old like the Bob Dylan songs? They were like in eleven minutes long, you know, <laughs> and like poetry. See. And the Vato knew every word, all, you know. Old, yeah. And dude, Bob Dylan was back in the days. He was lit, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Bob Dylan, like, what the hell? Yeah, dude. Dude, he, dude, Bob Dylan could sing about anything, bro. He'd be like, "This soda right here in the market, right yeah, there." Yeah. And you'd be like, "Yeah, dude, that's a groove." <laughs> It's a good song. You'd be crying bro. and like you'd be crying, bro. Like I had a soda too. You'd be like, man, we gotta go march. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bob Dylan, man. But hey, um, nah, man. So, so you, you you're doing a lot, bro. But um, uh, as far as music goes, where are you headed in that that aspect? I'm trying to stay just as busy as I do with the other stuff. So really? sometimes I focus a little more on one thing than the other. But that's gotcha. because I'm trying to kind of perfect that craft so the last few years i've been working on tattoos heavily and i feel like now 
I need to balance them and get back hard on my music stuff. So that's what I've been doing. And you know what sucks, bro, is that nobody could probably do a tattoo like you do. It's like I do screen printing, right? And I got my boys helping me out. And like when I get a job, dude, I'll be I'll be printing and I'll, I, I want to leave it to them, but I know it's not going to get done right. So I'm just like, let me do it. And when I'm done, and that's how I find myself with no time. You know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. That, and and that, sometimes you getting hands on and getting in there is the only way sometimes. Yeah, man. You got any new new albums coming out? Or? Look OG, the album, it just dropped May 10th and I got Paul Wall on there. I got Slim 400. Um, I got a few good homies on there, so I'm pretty excited about that. Paul Wall, man, he hasn't made a song in a minute, right? He just dropped uh, a couple of little projects. Did he? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, cool. As far as radio stuff, no, I couldn't say, but he goes hard with a lot of underground stuff still. What What do you think? What do you think? I mean, I mean, like, I'm, we're a low power branding station. We're here in Orange County. We popped up last year, right? But what do you think, as far as commercial radio goes, with helping like Latinos out, young brothers out, like getting their music heard? What do you think the, the problem is? I couldn't say, bro. I don't. I still haven't deciphered the game like that. You know? really? I don't know who pushes the buttons and really controls the game. Cause then see, you got kids with, you know, wearing mini skirts and brassiers and and, yeah. and, and girdles and and purple hair. And Weird. Pink. I don't really know where they came and said it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I don't knock certain certain. Just to, excuse me. Yeah. When it comes to a certain demographic, it just. It's just odd to me. Yeah, you know yeah. What I mean, it's really odd to me. Certain demographic is, you know. Yeah, it's just weird. You so just I stay in my lane. Thing, you know, because you can't figure out. I stay in my lane. Yeah, I stay yeah. in my lane. So we try to keep it. Yeah. Hey, you guys, don't miss out on part two. Click that video above and hit the subscribe button. Thank you.